Bangladesh versus Sri Lanka. Whenever these two teams come across each other, they make the headlines, but this time around for all the controversies. Well, Angelo Matthews was a timed out in the match against Bangladesh at the Arun Jaitley Stadium, Delhi, but what followed was even worse. Now, let me tell you what all happened. Now, the whole incident happened during Sri Lanka's batting and uh, when they were batting in the 25th over, Sadira Samar Vikrama got out. When uh, Samar Vikrama got out, it was turn of Angelo Matthews to come in. But Angelo Matthews took more than two minutes and uh, Shakib Al Hassan appealed for uh, his dismissal in the fashion of being timed out. And so uh, did uh, Angelo Matthews had to return. Now, what is timed out dismissal? First of all, let's know that. Now, what happens is that whenever a player is out or a player is retired hurt, then the time duration of that player going out and the new player coming in has to be two minutes. Now, it's written in the rules. Now, in this scenario, what happened? Angelo Matthews came in and um, when he came in, he saw that the helmet strap was broken. So, he signaled his team to get him another helmet and um, meanwhile, he was doing all of that. On the other side, Shakib Al Hassan appealed and he said that Matthews wasn't ready to face the first wall uh, within two minutes. And this has to be given out. Now, umpires discussed within themselves. They asked Shakib again. And then Angelo Matthews had an animated discussion. He went to Shakib Al Hassan. He tried to explain his situation. Shakib said that he does understand his situation, but rules are rules and the umpires will decided and then the umpire said that yes Angelo Matthews you'll have to go back because you weren't ready to face the first ball within two minutes now on the other side Angelo Matthews is quite fumed up he lashed out at Shakib Al Hassan and said that he was ready well in the time frame and uh, first of all he said that his helmet strap was broken so he really needs to understand the safety and on the other hand if it has to be two minutes then when he came in still five seconds were left now this turned worse there was cold war angelo matthew said a lot of things uh, after getting dismissed and uh, shakib al hassan said that he does not have any regrets because it is within the rules now you will tell us whether uh, shakib al hassan was right or angelo matthews was right but let me tell you Angelo Matthews said that it's disgraceful. What Shakib Al Hassan and Bangladesh team did is totally disgraceful and he doesn't know where the common sense went. That's what uh, Angelo Matthews said. He said that they will uh, come up with an official statement. They will also ask everyone to check the video whether his time uh, of coming to the field was more than two minutes or not because he has to say that he, when he came, still five seconds were left and Shakib Al Hassan didn't consider that so it was really very very bitter and to make things even more uh, bad and worse so to say the uh, Sri Lankan players refused to shake hands with the Bangladesh players after Bangladesh won that match so it turned very 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 bad now talking about uh, sportsmanship a lot of people and fans on social media are saying that Shakib Al Hassan doesn't have any sense of sportsmanship while the others are saying that rules are rules so Angelo Matthews uh, had to be careful about that but uh, talking about the whole incident be it about uh, Angelo Matthews timed out in the match or uh, talking about uh, Sri Lankan players refusing to shake hands with Bangladesh players one thing is for sure that sportsmanship and camaraderie took a toll there was no sportsmanship there was no camaraderie uh, there was uh, no respect for each other and Angelo Matthews said that uh, we will give respect when the others will respect us he said that he used to respect Shakib Al Hassan a lot, but this is not the way you play a game. If you have to stoop so low, then um, there is no point of us respecting you. Well, it turned bitter. But do you think that this happened for the very first time? Actually, no. In 2007 as well, during a test series between India and South Africa, Saurav Ganguly took around six minutes to come to the field, but it was an understanding of South African captain Graeme Smith. So here it clearly means that the captain has to be quite understanding. 
Now in that scenario, what happened was that the openers went out uh, pretty quickly, and uh, umpires refused Sachin Tendulkar to bat because in the third day he had taken over time um, in stepping out of the field, so they didn't allow him to bat. V V S Lakshman wasn't ready; he was still taking a shower. So sort of Gangli had to pad up quite quickly, and in that duration, six minutes were taken. But Graham Smith uh, understood the situation and he allowed Ganguly to bat. So it was totally on the basis of an understanding of a captain. Here the same thing happened, but Shakib Al Hasan refused, and uh, that's what people are saying that uh, sportsmanship is uh, higher than all the rules, and one should accept it. Now talking about Angelo Matthews, Angelo Matthews also said that uh, um, he didn't do any sort of man cutting or obstructing the field. So in that sense, he. He didn't disrespect or disobey the rules. He was within the rules, and uh, they will come up with an official statement pretty soon. But what you have to say, do let us know in the comment section down below. Until then, you keep watching Cricket Next.